Welcome to Pro Tips. Hi, I'm Dean Wedekin with MaxiLift. And in this series of Pro Tips, we're going to be talking about bucket elevator inspections. Because as a facility manager, you want to know that the inspection reports you're getting really tell you the story of your bucket elevators. As a maintenance manager, you want to know that the information you're getting is gonna say whether or not there's a problem coming up that could lead to a disaster. Because of course, when you look at any bucket elevator, for instance, like our sample bucket elevator, it's easy to see the boot bearings, the head bearings, might possibly even have a brake leg pulley with bearings down there. They're on the outside. Your drive package, the motor, the speed reducer, V-belts and shivs, maybe a chain final drive on a large bucket elevator. The monitoring system, I hope you have a monitoring system. On the outside, you're going to be able to see the sensors and take a look at them to make sure they're working properly. But what about on the inside? You may have a door right here. It's very common on the upside to see the front side of the buckets and belt. But what about the belt splice? What condition is it in? How about the backside of the belt? How about all of the buckets to make sure that they're all in good condition and that very important head pulley lagging and the throat plate. In this series, we're gonna see a number of situations in which there were good maintenance uh, characteristics taken care of and others in which maybe they weren't so good and led to a little bit of a disaster. So I hope that you'll watch all of the pro tips in this series. You can go to maxilift.com to see all of them or you can find us on YouTube. Do a search for MaxiLift INC and watch for pro tips. I'm Dean Wedekin with MaxiLift.